so different than a kayak. <laughs> oh, no, no. Hey guys, it's Bree. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. I, I don't know about you, but this past week was really difficult for me. Uh, work has been really hard trying to get all my lectures online. It's been going well. I'm thankful for that, but it's it's just different. And I know you guys are experiencing the same thing just during this time of uncertainty. It's been really hard for me because I'm not able to get out on the water as much as I like to, and that's what keeps me sane. Uh, so I have a really great friend that has allowed me to keep my sea dew in the water. So I do have water access. So today, I am so excited. Conditions are finally in my favor. I'm going to take the jet ski offshore for the first time. So I have never been out of Jupiter Inlet before in the Sea-Doo. I have gone out in boats. I have heard that it can get pretty nasty. I've learned, uh, I went up to Sebastian Inlet the other weekend and I learned what an inlet can look like when it gets nasty. So I'm a little bit nervous for that, but I am almost certain, uh, especially with just having some time on the sea dew and getting used to it, that I, I'll be able to get out. I'll be able to get offshore. Um, the thing that makes me the most nervous is probably coming back in, but I mean, you gotta learn. So I'm gonna do my best. I check the conditions, it looks good. What I'd really love to catch is a sailfish off the sea dew. That is a bucket lister right now. It's gonna happen. Uh, so I'm going to try to get some live bait. I don't know if anywhere's open, but I have a spot in Jupiter I'm going to try. And I'm first going to ride up to the inlet and just see if I can actually make it offshore. If I can't, it's going to be an inshore trip. And that's fine because I'm still going to be on the water. <laughs> but if I can make it offshore, heck, I'm going to try. So I'm going to take you guys with me and you'll get to see what it feels like to ride on the sea dew. And if we're lucky, maybe we'll catch some fish. <laughs> Once I pull it through, I'm going to get my hook back in there and then I'm going to twist it. And then the important part here is getting that hook back through and now it's attached. So I'm going to toss this guy out.
my drag was pretty loose though, so I don't really know how big this fish is right now. It took a lot of line for me. I'm slowly easing him up. It's shaking. Guesses, I'm thinking it might be a bonita or kingfish. Although it has not broke my mono yet, and this is on a mono leader setup, so this is not wire. I don't think it's a sail though, it didn't breach. It's shaking a lot though. I'm gonna back down my drag just a little bit in case it decides to take that final run. I have not seen color yet. Come on! <laughs> This is so different than a kayak. <laughs> Come on! This is a Nita! <laughs> Alright, sir. You gave me a run for my money. I'm surprised you didn't take through the line. consider using this guy as a bait for marlin but I think I'm just gonna chunk bait him and save him and I'm a little bit shallow off the ledge so it could quite possibly be a bonita especially since it didn't bite it off yet oh boy you get started Look at the colors on 
that fish. Oh, it looks like storms are coming. It's time to run in.